Why throw away your bottles when you can repurpose them? Hey, if you want to create an atmospheric mood for an outdoor party and you want to keep mosquitoes away, you can do that by simply creating your own tiki torches using bottles that you might otherwise discard. First thing you want to do is choose a bottle. And what I'm doing is I'm adding some gravel in the bottom of it for two reasons. One, it gives a little weight and stability. And hey, it looks good, but you can use marbles, anything you can get in there that's a solid object that you think would be attractive. The other thing it does is it displaces the amount of oil, the citronella oil that you're actually gonna put in here to light the wick. So I've got just about what I want in there in this size bottle. Now the next thing you wanna do is think about the wick itself. You can buy these wicks and there are a number of ways to um, actually attach them and thread them through the top. You see the idea is to keep the wick stable. In a case like this, the bottle cap serves as a great way to keep the wick in place. You just cut a hole in the bottle cap, push the wick through it like this. You really only want about a quarter of an inch of the wick showing at the top of the bottle cap, and then you can just take it and screw it on like that, all right? Another way to go about it is to actually take a washer. In this case, I use a 7 8 washer and then a quarter inch washer here at the top. Whatever bottle size you have, you can find washers that will allow you to accommodate the wick into it. This is a perfect solution for a wine bottle that had a cork in it. All right, you can see we've already filled this up with oil, but let me show you how I'm gonna fill this with oil. Next, all you do is pour in the citronella oil. The funnel comes in very handy. So just take your time pouring. If you pour slowly, you're less likely to spill some of this. The citronella is great for repelling insects, mainly those pesky mosquitoes. All right, now the citronella oil in. I'm ready just to take the wick, stick the wick in the bottle. You can see it's made contact with the oil. And I'll just screw the lid down like that. Make sure my wick is in place. You can see the wick is held tightly by the cap. Now it's almost ready to use. We just need to allow some time for the wick to actually draw the oil up through the wick up here to the top so we can light it. We'll have a flame. See, it only takes a few minutes. You can light it and you have a beautiful object and a useful object to adorn your garden with for an evening party. If you're enjoying these tips, check in with us regularly and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. That's what